Today, we're gonna be roasting every single Cloud Zombies map. Let's get into it. Nocturne Cone is the one map that you play that takes longer in the lower rounds rather than the higher rounds. I don't know if it's just me, but round one, two, and three are the slowest rounds you will ever play COD Zombies. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous how slow it is. I mean, can you just see me running around? It's been at least one minute into the gameplay, and you know what's happened? Nothing. Rock is so small, you could throw 10 nickels in it, and eight would probably fall out off topic but do you guys like the color green because i fucking love green speaking of the color green we have shinonuma the map is literally just green with zombies but that that's it greece is the one map that everyone claims to love but they run the same catwalk strat that goes over and over for the past 11 years genuinely i don't know anybody who actually trains on this map point in point it's boring i'm gonna be honest here the only reason why anybody plays keynote or totem is to train around with the thunder gun that's it it's honestly kind of a boring map and really there's not much to do let's be real with ourselves here five is the one map that people like for a survival map but haven't gotten past round 25 with ascension came monkeys and you know what came with monkeys goddamn headache although they counterbalance the map in terms of easiness these pesky monkeys always seem to just steal quick arrive or chug no matter what i hate them and you do too all of dead is a great map but it added dead shot daiquiri so that just really says enough doesn't it shangri -La actually does green right in a beautiful way but you know what isn't beautiful like its atmosphere the gameplay. The zombies in this are ridiculously hard, and if you've met anybody who's went past round 30 on this map, they're probably a psychopath. Oh wow, look at the colors on Moon. It looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, they still look terrible, don't they? Next we got Transit, which is ultimately just a bus simulator with zombies running around. I mean, really, there's nothing else to it. Or if you don't want to play like that, you could play the fire simulator with giant demons hopping on top of your head. Either or, it's horrible. Nuketown Zombies is the one map you can go up until round 25 without having jug. The chaoticness of this map is just not good, and honestly, the map itself... <laughs> Mob of the Dead is near perfect, but the Easter egg is just being stuck in a time loop. The Easter egg is just being stuck in a time loop. The Easter egg is just being stuck in a time loop. Buried is probably going to be the easiest map you ever play on COD Zombies. This map is way too easy with all the buildables. You have a portable thunder gun and one of the best camping spots in COD Zombies. I genuinely think a blind, crippled, and deaf man could get around 100 on this map. Easily. Origins is a great map, but have you ever played it without stamina? Exactly, this map is an absolute mess without it, and even if you run the stabs, you're gonna have plenty of panzers to go against. It's horrible. <sighs> Shadows of Evil is perfect, there's no flaws. I love Derizer Jack as much as the next guy, but oh my god, I have not played one game since 2015 where I haven't used a boat. And that's when I looked up a YouTube guide. That's both the same as Shino New Mode, except that there's plants, a boss fight, and a main quest. There, I said it. Oh yeah, we're falling out of the sky. Oh look, that guy, he has a pair you. Oh yeah, what's his name? Oh, what? What's that? Only 1% of players can identify who this is. <laughs> Revelations is like Shadows of Evil blended with all the ultimate maps together. From the rituals to the pap step, this map is just shadows just reskinned. It's, it's kind of sad. Oh wow, another Shadows of Evil style map. The layout, the traps with different aesthetic. That's all mine is. I mean, literally even the Wonder Weapon is just reskinned from the Wonder Waff. Voyager Depression is a really bad map altogether, mainly because of the layout. Like, how do you mess up the layout of the Titanic? It seems pretty simple and easy, right? Honestly, with Blood of the Dead, I don't need to say anything. It roasts itself. Dead Knight is so bad that 80% of the Zombies players didn't even know it was released until videos of the Easter egg being beaten popped up. And that's saying a lot because there are over 25 spawn locations for parts. You know how many parts you gotta get in this map? And it was one good map from the Chaos storyline, but unfortunately it had such a crummy storyline that the devs canceled it. They haven't even done this with Vanguard yet. Alpha Omega is just a ray gun simulator and a blackout simulator. The only way to get people to play Togdor Toten was caused by the Ether storyline ending. Other than that, not one soul cared at all. The machine was advertised as spooky, scary, and horrific, but it's the exact opposite of that. This map was easy, fun, and everything about it was good, but oh my god, it was just not marketed what it was supposed to be like. With Firebase, the devs were already so stretched out, they made the ray gun into an auto rifle. We asked five years ago, ain't nobody want that sh**. I don't even have the roast mower to tell him, but the wonder weapon? Why can't it go past round 55, but the ray gun can? I mean, that honestly, that makes no sense to me. Foreskin is just a teleport simulator duct taped together very badly with the needler from Halo. I mean, the map 
just could not get another idea from Mauer to Tone, right? I can't even remember the maps of Vanguard by this point. It's been forever, and honestly, this game just sucks my big fat monkey cock, and I will never ever play it again.